Welcome back everyone to Elite Dangerous and this is the utilities guide which is a follow up to the weapons guide which I've previously done. Now there are a variety of utilities available um, from scanners to chaff launchers to all types of things and these utilities are mounted on utility amounts shown in the outfitting menu. Now no ships come with utilities upon the initial purchase but they do come with a slot in which you can put utilities inside. Um, cost doesn't vary between ships so the prices you're seeing on this video are what you'll be going to be paying for them on any ship unless those prices change for all ships. Ships. Um, so at the moment, um, the point defense, for instance, costs um, a certain amount and it's going to cost that amount for every single ship in the game. Now most of these utilities require you to have them bound to a key in your controls menu or to a fire group in the, in the right hand panel. Um, the only ones that don't are actually the automatic firing utilities. Before getting into detail on each utility amount, it should be noted that all utility amounts have a mass of 1.3 tons, excluding one, which is the point defense turret, which has no mass. Uh, now mass will no longer be mentioned, so remember that fact. There are no different classes for utility amounts, and the only utilities to actually have different rated versions are the scanners. Everything else just doesn't have any rated versions, and is just the base model that you will always get with any ship. The first utility amount we'll be looking at is the heat sink launcher. This allows the heat percentage of your ship to be instantly reduced by activating this utility. It does this by purging the ship's heat into a disposable sink block, which you can choose to eject at any time. Um, the hour max is 3 with a clip size of 1. It has a 0.2 megawatt draw, 3.5k credits is the cost, and a max time of 3 with a clip size of 1, meaning you have to reload every single time that it is used once. Next up is the point defense utility, and as I said previously, this is the only one that has no mass for some strange reason, even though it's actually a thing that you add to your ship. Uh, basically, this is an automatic tracking and shooting defense for missiles and torpedoes when in range and powered on. It requires ammo. Ammo is quite costly. Um, there is a lot of it, though. No need to be assigned to a fire group or bound to a key to work since it is automatic and everything's just done itself, like a normal turret, like a weapon turret. Um, power draw is 0.2 megawatts and 18.5k credits cost. Next up is the Chaff Launcher, and this is an NPC favourite. I've found that NPCs will mainly have this compared to any other utility mounts, especially in combat zones I've found. And basically when you activate it, it causes Gimbald and Turreted weapons to lose their lock when it's actually activated. And it does this by just shooting a load of, it's just basically like a flare, it just shoots loads of little fragments of things around your ship. And it's kind of like a 2 second, 3 second, 5 second type of action, which is going to allow Gimbald weapons to not lock onto your ship. Um, the Ammo Max is 30, clip size of 1, so reloading every Every time with this 0 0.25 and um, 0.2 megawatt draw, sorry, and 8.5k credit cost. Next up is the electronic countermeasure, and this basically causes missiles and torpedoes to lose lock when deployed. It um, requires no ammo, 0.2 megawatt draw like the other ones, and a 12.5k credit cost. I don't use it too much, but I'm sure there are people out there that would like to use this one much more than my favourite, which is the point defence. The last three utilities are all scanners, so that does mean there are three types of scanners for utility mounts. I'll get into more detail on each single one in a second. First of all though, how do we use a scanner? Basically, they all require you to target the ship or item, then click and hold the scan button, which will be a fire group button, for 10 seconds, keeping them in sight all the time. After the 10 seconds is complete, it'll say scan completed, and whichever type of scanner you got, you'll get your information received to you. As I said earlier in the video, scanners are the only utility to have different rated versions, and with a high rated versions come a bigger kilometre range of scan so that's the only thing that actually improves time to scan doesn't um, decrease or anything like that it's just the kilometre range you're actually paying for um, and also power draw is doubled and credit cost is actually increased as well per upgrade and as you can see the A rated um, scanner is actually 3.2 a megawatt draw with a 1 million price tag so putting that on a smaller ship isn't going to be worthwhile I always stick with the C rated on the you know Cobra and below ships definitely if I'm going to be going that high at all uh, but definitely the A rated and the B rated um, scanners can definitely be put on bigger ships to have that bigger range because it is always useful to stay back away from harmful ships to actually get the scan range useful for you. The first type of scanner is the cargo scanner and obviously it's used to scan a targeted ship's cargo hold. After completing a scan all you need to do is just look in the left hand panel, scroll to the cargo tab to see the targeted ship's hold and you'll be able to see all of the cargo inside of it. Ships you're scanning are warned of a scan for this type of scanner. The frame shift weight scanner. This allows us to scan high energy frame shift weights which are left by ships when they hyperspace jump um, to find out where they jump to so we can actually follow them and then go and interdict them again. So it's good for bounty hunters or pirates that are chasing a ship full of gold or just some really valuable cargo to actually go ahead and collect. 
And lastly, it's the Kill Warrant Scanner. This is used to scan a targeted ship for all of their bounties available. A normal scan only actually refers to the current system bounties, and it'll only be one bounty at a time that you can actually receive if you're not using a Kill Warrant Scanner. While a Kill Warrant Scanner refers to all of the galaxy and the bounties on this person's head. So and it can increase bounty rewards and can add bounties to previously clean ships. These extra bounties can be found in the contacts panel on the left after completing the scan. Ships are warned of this scan as well as the cargo scanners. That's it for the utilities guide, I hope it's helped. You can click the screen now to go watch the weapons guide. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time.